A lot of people, men, women, I think men may be more guilty of it than women, think, uh, it's just a twinge. Oh, I just, you know, it'll, it'll go away. You know, I'll go home and I'll, I'll rub some, some, you know, Ben Gay on it tonight when I get home and, I, and I'll rest and, and it'll be better by the morning, you know. Or some guys will go, you know, two or three days because it's the macho type thing to do. Oh, yeah, I, I hurt my back, but it, yeah, it's okay. It, it's, it's not a big deal. Well, it is a big deal if it turns out to be a big deal and you didn't tell anybody when it happened and where it happened and how it happened because the longer you wait, the more difficult it is to prove that whatever's wrong with you now was a result of something that happened five days ago, ten days ago, maybe two weeks ago that you didn't think was going to be a big deal at the time, but now it is. People are reluctant to do that. They are just reluctant to do it and I understand for any number of reasons uh, they're afraid, you know, to lose favor of their employer, afraid to look like a, you know, look like a wimp or something like that. So I see all the time where people say, well, you know, I got hurt last Thursday, but I didn't tell anybody about it until the following Monday because I just thought it would get better. I just, I just thought, you know, I would rest over the weekend and it would get better. And unfortunately, then the question becomes, well, did you get hurt back last Thursday at work? Or did you get hurt out water skiing on Saturday when you weren't at work and then you came into work on Monday and said, oh, by the way, I hurt my back last Thursday. That's when the issues start to arise. You can, you can avoid those if you would just man up and, <laughs> and tell them, hey, I hurt myself. I hurt myself. I didn't mean to, but I did. And it hurts.